Welcome back, friends and viewers. And yep, we are dabbling around in Cubase Pro 13, and it's a wonderful goddamn program. Um, while we are dabbling around, uh, you know, every time I run into something that's going to be a little bit of an issue and I can't find uh, quick solutions for anything else, I might make some videos to help people out, right? Like this one here. So you got no sound on your media bay, right? And I just realized, like, my media player was not playing any sound here. And I'm like, wait, 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 this is the best program I've seen. What, what? Don't worry, my friends. Easy fix. 99% you have enabled your control room, right? But even if you haven't. Your problem, 99%, right? Your problem is going to be up here. Can I go to studio, audio connections, right? In audio connections, under inputs, outputs, and so forth, you're going to find control room right at the end, right? And all you're going to do is click here and uh, set up your audio card that you want to play it on, right? And there you go. Bam, bam. Thank you, ma'am. Back to normal. Back to normal. At the same time, you can push F4. Function key 4 will do exactly the same for you. So, Function Q4 also opens up the um, audio connections. And uh, if you don't want to go to the menu, right? F4, boom, shakalaka, boom, go to control room and uh, set up your audio. Right? Hopefully, this helps you geezers out. And uh, let me know, as, as I mentioned, the more, you know, if I run into a couple of more errors and not errors, errors on my side, that is, I'll make some videos to help you, you know, just do like, you know, just keep the knowledge happening as well. Have a good one, guys.